this is lesson um this is lesson 40 for a third grade worksheet and i'll be covering it so the first part is adding so what you have to do you have 190 plus 50 so you want to write it like on top of each other like this 190 plus 50 and you want to add the two numbers by column so for starter you have 0 plus 0 that and 0 plus 0 equals 0 then you have 9 plus 5 and 9 plus 5 equals 14 so what you do you take the 4 and 14 you just write it here and you take the 1 and 14 just right on here so now it just becomes 1 plus 1 plus 0 which is 2 so the answer is 240 same thing for number 2 you have 42 plus 20 you add 2 to 0 because you 2 and then 4 plus 2 6 so the answer number 2 is is uh, 62 Next one, you have 39 plus 24, so you have 39 plus 24, 9 plus 4 equals 13, so take 3, drop, put it there, carry the 1, you put it on top of here, so then you get 1 plus 3 plus 2, which equals 6, so the answer to number 3 is 63, yeah, that's how you do the first part. Here we have dividing, so... You have 40 divided by 5. So what you want to do is you write, you want to write the first number here in the middle. So you have 40 and then you write it, the second number outside. Now what you want to do is this. So you want to do the same thing by columns, but here's how you do it. So in the first column you have 4. So you want to see, does 5 go into 4? It doesn't. So you move to the second column. So then if you move to the second column, you get 40. So then does 5 go into 40? It does. It goes into 48 times. So, yeah. The answer number one is 8. Same thing for 2. You write it out like this. So, does 2 go into 1? It doesn't. So then you just go to the second column. Does 2 go into 12? It does. And it goes into 12 6 times. So the answer is 6. And if you do this, say, say if I get 5, or 40. So if you know that it goes into 8 times, you can just multiply 5 times 8, which gets you 40. And if you subtract them both, you should get 0. So that's how you know if you did it correct. Same thing for here. You have 2 times 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. And then you would just write it here and you would subtract it and you get 0 too. But you really want to just think of it as... How many times does this number go into the first number? So, yeah. For here, we have multiplication. 2 times 4. It's mostly just memorization, but you can just um, solve it out like this. So you have 2 times 4. You want to write the, out the bigger number like this. So the bigger number is 4, right? And then you just write the bigger number as many times as the smallest number. So you have 2, so you just write 4 plus 4. Because if 4 is a bigger number, you would write it twice and add them both. Because, and you write it twice because there's a 2 here. Like, if it was a, it was a, if it was a 3 here, you would write 4 3 times and you add them both. But yeah. So then you do 4 plus 4, which equals 8. And so 2 times 4 equals 8. But, yeah, so you were, yeah, but mostly you would just have to memorize it. Like for here, 5 times 6, you have to memorize it as 30. Or you can just write it out this way as here. 6 times 3. The bigger number is 6, right? And the smaller number is 3, so you would write 6 3 times. Which equals 18. So that's how you do the multiplication. Now here, Faith went to the park with her friends and saw a girl ducks in the lake. When she gave them crumbs of bread, half of the ducks surrounded her. How many ducks were surrounding Faith for food? So, in other words, I'm just asking you 20 divided by 2, because she saw 20 ducks, right? And only half of them surrounded her. Half means divided by 2, basically. So, 20 divided by 2. 
so when you do it, you get 20. So there's two going to two, it does once. But then since you have a second area here, you would do, let me do it down here. So you have two and 20. There's two going to two, it does, and it goes into two once. So one times two equals two. You subtract, you get zero. And then whenever you have a second number here, you just drop it down like that. Is 2 going to 0? No, it does not. So the answer is 10 ducks. So that's how you do it. Thank you for watching.